Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wanted to use Q Sprite with your 3D RPG Maker MV project? Well, you definitely can. For those of you who don't know, MV3D is a plugin developed by QD Virus for RPG Maker MV, which allows you to create your RPG Maker games and render them with 3D maps. That also means 3D camera control. Plugin developer Kuhios created a suite of plugins, including Q Sprite. Q Sprite is pretty amazing because it allows you to extend the frames of your character animations. So not only can you now have more than three frames for your walk cycles, you can also have a lot of frames for other animations as well, such as any emotes that you'd like to add, or just the idle, or perhaps the run as opposed to the walk anything you can think of. If you can create a sprite and you can animate it, you can now use it in your sprite sheet using QSprite. Now, admittedly, I am late to the party. I actually just learned how to use the QSprite editor tonight. But if you'd like to use QSprite, you'll need Q+. And then you'll need to download the QSprite editor. The reason that I'm bringing all of this up is because I want to showcase a plugin compatibility patch. Now, if you want to use these two plugins, MV3D and QSprite together, generally, as I found out tonight, you will have no problems. You will be able to have four frame animations, just as you see here, where this horse has four different forward walking or running rather frames, four to the left, to the right, and four up. And that's just, that's just one possibility. I could have easily had all eight frames here for the running forward animation, and obviously the reason I don't is because this horse is a different horse, as is this one and this one. And I'm very happy to report that right out of the box, these kinds of simple animations, these extensions to your sprite sheet, work just fine when you are using MV3D. Now for those of you who are using QSprite in a more advanced way, and with eight directional sprites, which MV3D also already supports, but with extended animations, and things like idle poses and the like, there is a compatibility patch for you. MV3D Discord community moderator Yorai Rasante has an itch.io page where you can download the MV3D QSprite compatibility patch. You'll run into issues when you do certain things. Admittedly, I don't know what these things are because every test that I ran was very, very fundamental and basic and everything seemed to work fine. Now it is worth noting Q Plus and Q Sprite originally were not compatible with MZ because they were created years ago, and the creator unfortunately stopped dealing with plugins before the newest version of RPG Maker released. That said, there are people making compatible versions of Kuhios plugins. So for those of you experiencing issues getting these two plugins to work together, make sure you download the compatibility patch. The link to this will be in the description below, as well as the link to Q Sprite, the Q Sprite editor. Uh, I'll just link to Q+, and then I'll link to that nice 4-frame horse sprite that I was able to find because it was free. Don't forget to follow the terms of use for MV3D as well as Q sprite and Q+, and the terms of use for this, which are very, very simple. Uh, your I would appreciate it if you would mention your project's credits. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Enjoy this horse running around on this space grid in the void.